What's up guys, welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto. Guys, in this video, we're taking a look at BTC. BTC has been ranging right here. We dumped from 45k, now we're in the 39k, 38k, 40k region. We're taking a look at what BTC has been doing, the general crypto market. We have a red in the market. We're taking a look at that. And guys, inflation has been running rampage. So we'll be taking a look at inflation figures, talking about inflation. I'll be telling you guys what inflation is, how to prepare for it, what you should do. And guys, we'll also be taking a look at some other metrics. We'll be taking a look at the us dollar index it has a critical point in time we'll also be talking about gold luna luna has almost broken its all-time high i'll be showing you what i'm expecting for luna in the coming days guys we'll also be talking about wave we'll also be talking about zcash zcash has been having a nice point right there we'll be talking about zcash and where we intend to take profit and guys commodities are on the rise and we'll also be taking a look at the crypto fear and greed index we're we'll talking about data more in this video but first guys if you're new to this channel give these videos a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this you can follow me on social media on twitter on facebook on youtube and on telegram is mr legend crypto let's get down to business so kicking off today's video guys btc is still ranging right here btc actually dumped from the last high he tried to say btc was pumping everybody was getting excited shouting the bull run is back btc got to forty two thousand five hundred, and boom we had a nasty crash now it, it looks nasty on the chart but in percentages we just had a nine percent crash the whole market went with it as usual if btc is dumping the market is dumping and this is btc on the 15 minutes chart so it looks so dramatic now but this week you are seeing right here something incredible happened the inflation figures came out in the u.s we had that inflation figure for this month is around eight percent that's not even factoring in the fact that we have oil crisis a lot of places in the world fuel is going out of hand because russia is a major exporter of fuel and right now they're invading ukraine sanctions on them yada 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 the major story is that oil is getting very very expensive oil that actually went to negative during the covid time oil got to over 100 and 30 dollars per barrel so that alone is making the whole global market just people are just on the edge nobody knows what the war is happening nobody knows what's happening in the war and made the inflation figures came out guess what i don't know whether a lot of people bought bitcoin and bitcoin just spiked up right here bitcoin got to forty thousand five hundred, and boom it dumped back right down but right now we are actually exactly where we were before those figures came out so maybe just knee-jerk reactions now you can see the whole market is actually red right now why because bitcoin is down and bitcoin has to show us the way so a lot of people have been waiting for all season waiting for your old coins to pump but bitcoin has to show us that the road is clear if bitcoin start pumping now bitcoin doesn't need to be pumping 100 percent 30 percent 40 percent bitcoin just needs to show us that the road is clear and everything can start going and then all the old coins will start going you can see that those few old coins are still in profit but I expect that to change very soon now the inflation figures are high you might be wondering what does inflation figures have to do with bitcoin and crypto and why why do people care about it now let's know what is inflation inflation is the decline of purchasing power of a given currency over time a quantitative estimate of the rate at which the decline in purchasing power occurs can be reflected in the increase of average price level of basket of selected goods and services and guys i told you guys that oil has been going up gold has actually been going up wheat has been going up a lot of the commodities that people actually spend a lot of the commodities that people actually need for their day-to-day -day life, they have been on bull runs. They have just been going high. Nickel was actually fucking crazy. See nickel right there. This nickel against gold. Uh, nickel went so high that they had to stop trading it. Gold is up. Copper is up. Silver is up. So a lot of things actually going high. And gas. Gas is really important. The whole world actually runs on crude oil. And crude oil is going out of hands. So people are paying more money for it. Inflation figures are rising. Houses are expensive. Everything is basically exp expensive and what that's telling you is that the currencies are actually losing value. That means fiat currencies are losing value. Now, the dollar might not be losing value as fast as other currencies, but best guess what, guys? The dollar is actually losing value. So, this is the dollar index chart. This is the dollar against other major currencies. You can see right here that the dollar is pumping. You can actually argue that the dollar since May 2021 has actually been pumping. But the problem is that right now is that the dollar has reached its 702 retracement of the last pump he had and after that last pump the dollar had that was the covid 19 crisis where people are selling all their assets running to the dollar the dollar actually lost value it actually lost over 14 percent of its value so i think in the nearest future the dollar is going to lose its value now the dollar pumping doesn't mean the dollar is gaining strength the dollar is just stronger than 
other currencies at the moment in time that means other currencies too are losing value but the dollar is not losing value as fast as those other currencies and that's why people are scared of inflation and guys one of the things people do when inflation happens is that they start buying all these assets that the few can hold petition power and we know that bitcoin have been the whole digital gold people have been saying bitcoin is digital gold digital gold i feel that narrative is still going to come through because the whole war that happened with russia and ukraine we could see that the use case of bitcoin was just there people are just advertising bitcoin because if you had physical gold you couldn't travel with your gold but if you had your bitcoin all you need was your private keys and boom and guys the level i will actually be looking for bitcoin to actually pass before we can really flip bullish and formal return this market is if bitcoin can pass this forty five thousand dollar region i just see bitcoin has just been ranging in that region since since on the 5th of january when bitcoin broke down bitcoin actually been ranging just between forty five thousand and 33,000. At some point in time, guys, in the future, we're going to break violently to the upside or violently to the downside. I actually favor the upside because Bitcoin has not retraced since where Bitcoin hits its top at 69k. I expect the retracement to come in and that will come in very soon. Now, inflation hits another 40 year high. The war in Ukraine could be could make it worse. And now, and last thing, guys, the narrative. People are scared of inflation and if somebody I respect so much, he says something that people are more scared of inflation than when inflation is there. So if you hear people talking about inflation, they're scared of inflation, it's before inflation actually comes. When inflation comes, it's already too late. The time to be scared of inflation is before inflation comes. And right now, people are actually feeling the brunt of inflation. Gas prices are increasing, meat prices are increasing, wheat, wood. Every basic thing you need to live your quality life is actually increasing. And the Fed has actually been saying, no, it's transitioning, it's transitioning, that the inflation is not coming. And right now, we're at this point in time. And the funny thing is that they actually say they are going to increase interest rates this much. So how will they increase interest rates at the same time? Price of everything is going down. It's leading us to say we're probably going to be in a recession very soon. But we're talking about that in another video. But let's talk about inflation. Inflation is a measure of the rate of rising prices of goods and services in an economy. If inflation is occurring, leading to higher prices for basic necessities such as food, it can have a negative impact on the society. And guys, that's exactly what is happening now. Basic things that people need to survive, the prices of things are actually increasing. That's all over the world, not just in the US, in Nigeria, Ghana, even in Europe. Inflation can occur in nearly any product or services, including need-based expenses such as housing, food, medical care, and utility. And guys, I feel this inflation stuff is going to come to crypto now. It's, is it a good thing for crypto to inflate? Yeah, we want our bags to pump. But at some point in time, people will try to get more money. Now, all these things will come at a risk. Crypto is going to pump. But after that, we're going to see a recession. I feel we're going to go in a global recession. And when inflation happens, people start running to things where they can preserve the value. Nobody wants to hold the dollar right now. A lot of people have been selling their crypto to hold the dollar. So now the dollar is pumping. But it's not pumping. It's just that it's losing less value against other currencies. At some point in time, the dollar will turn on itself and the dollar will start losing value and people will start running to all these other commodities and all these other assets where they want to save their value. You can see gold right here. Gold has almost got into its high that it got in 2021. That's after the whole COVID stuff. Gold actually pumped as high as $2,062 in 2021. Gold has gone back to touch that level. And guys, guess what happened after gold actually turned on itself after that? Bitcoin bull run actually started. This is when Bitcoin started pumping and pumping and going to the moon. And do you see that? It's no coincidence that March was when Bitcoin stopped violently pumping. And that was where gold actually bottomed out. And the same thing with the dollar index. This was when Bitcoin actually magically reversed from $4,000 and it went straight to to $64,000 and that was when the dollar was losing value. So if we're expecting the dollar to lose value again, expect the price of cryptocurrencies to actually go up. Now guys, let's talk about Luna right here. Luna, regardless of all market conditions and everything has been dumping, Luna actually just set a new all-time high. Luna is showing us the way. Now I believe that if, if some coins are setting new all-time highs, I don't think we're in a bear market. Nobody talks about setting new all-time highs in a bear market, but Luna is showing us the way. Luna is about to break into new all-time highs. It's actually if you, if you go into details that's broken your time high, but we clearly want to see Luna at $110, $120. I won't advise you to buy Luna right now because the Luna trade is over. Luna came from less than $4 barely a year ago. And right now, Luna is over $100. For those who huddle their Luna, congrats to you. Another coin that is actually showing us the way is Wave. Now, Wave has almost 
gotten to its 2021 high that it set in May. It has actually gotten to the high set in September and, and October when Bitcoin was topping. It has gotten to that region right here. If you pass this region, if you can pass this retracement, it just has too much re retracement level for wave to pass. And we'll be seeing waves talking about wave in new all-time high. I think this is a good sign for the crypto market. It shows that some coins are actually showing us that mm, maybe there's still hope. All season is coming. I mean, a coin will have to start the all season in it. All of them can't just start at once. One of them will have to show us the way. And that coin, guys, that I've been following. I just made a video on it on my channel recently. Zcash. I told you five reasons why I believe Zcash should be going to one thousand dollars. Guys, Zcash, regardless of market condition, regardless of inflation and yada yada yada, and what everybody has been saying, guys, Zcash are actually been pumping. Zcash got to as high as one hundred and forty-two dollars yesterday. And the point of recording of this video, you can see that right now that Zcash is still in $141. So Bitcoin got to $42,000, $43,000 and crashed. Zcash got to $142 and didn't crash. So that's positive signs right here. Zcash is actually at the point in time where it actually broke down. This was where Zcash was before it broke down into lower prices. If Bitcoin was doing exactly what Zcash was doing, Bitcoin is supposed to be above $45,000, which I expect Bitcoin to be in the nearest future. And the last thing we'll be checking right here, guys, is gold. Will gold break new all-time highs? I'm actually watching this chart very well. If gold actually start breaking new all-time highs, at some point in time, to turn on itself. And from history, history has showed us that anytime gold turns on itself, Bitcoin takes off. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more some videos like this. The sentiment in this market is still in fear. I always say on this channel, you want to buy fear, I want to sell greed. See you guys in my next video. Bye.